Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this continuation of our Unity and Pro Builder tutorial series, we're gonna start taking a look at the UV editor. This one's a big one, and it's gonna allow you to do a lot of different stuff with building and creating 3D objects right in the Unity editor, and then also unwrapping your UVs. So if you're ready to get creating, let's go. And here we're back in Unity, and again, we're gonna continue with our Pro Builder uh, investigation. So. The next thing we're gonna be looking at in this particular tutorial is our UV editor. So what does the UV editor do for us? Well, it allows us to manipulate the material that's attached to that specific game object. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Here's the UV editor. Let's go ahead and go back. I'm gonna create a new Pro Builder cube. And what I wanna do with this is I'm just gonna simply create a wall kind of structure. And we'll just, Put that at zero zero and then i want to back off just a little bit and go ahead and just make this into kind of what would be a wall segment so we'll go ahead and manipulate that just a little bit bring this up and then i'm going to go ahead and on the bottom just want to bring out just a little bit of an extra piece to this so that i can have two different segments of the wall kind of like the main top part of the wall and then the bottom part of the wall which is going to be just kind of like a concrete area so i'm going to hold down a, so i select that bottom face hold down the shift key and then drag down which allows me to extrude an additional segment to this wall okay so now that we have that all kind of set up i have two materials that i've already put together one is a brick material so i'm going to go ahead and select the faces that i want the brick material to be attached to and hold down shift to select all of those faces. And then I have a bricks, brick material here, so I just drag that on and you can see how that looks within that material. I wanna do the same thing with the bottom kind of little row here so that I can then attach a material to that as well. So I'm gonna drag out concrete and add that there. Okay, so you can see that we now have two kind of materials attached to this wall segment. Now, let's go ahead and go into our cube, and it doesn't matter if we have the faces selected or the whole game object. We're gonna go back into Pro Builder and then click on our UV Editor. Now, the UV Editor, there's two ways that we can view the UV Editor. The first way is to have this as a dockable window. So the advantage of a dockable window is that you can take and drag this down to a segment of your UI so that you can always just have it there. If you don't want that and you wanna just have that floating, you can do that as well. Now, the problem with this that I find is that if you click off of this, all of a sudden it goes behind your editor window and then you have to continually bring it back up. Now, if you uh, click on the little three dot icon in the corner, or you can right click within the window itself and just open as floating window. So if you open as floating window, if I do click within the rest of my editor, this window doesn't go away. So that allows us to have that. Okay, so let's take a look at the UV editor window. So currently I have this game object selected and within the UV, I can see all of the different faces that are part of that shape. So wherever I have selected, you can now see that I see the material that's attached to that, that face. And if I click the bottom face, you'll see that the material changes to the material that is attached to the, those faces as well. Okay, so I can change how this material looks on this face. So if I select all the faces that are attached to this particular material, I can go and edit the scale of this. So I click on my scale tool and I can scale it down, which scales up the material, or I can scale it up and which scales down the material. So I can do that on all the individual faces themselves. And then the next thing I wanna look at is the actions panel. So basically the tools that I have here in, in the transform are all of the tools that I have up here. So it allows me to change the offset. So where that material is, uh, what the scale of the material is, so the tiling and what that size is, if we wanna flip our UVs, so on and so forth. And so that gives me some basic control over a few of the options here. Now, let's go ahead and close this window. 
and then I'm gonna delete this game object and I'm gonna start from scratch, okay? So then we can see more of the power of the UV editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start with a cube. So let's go with a Pro Builder cube and let's make this a little bit bigger and we're gonna take this cube and we're gonna change it down to be a position of zero, zero, zero. And then we're gonna take a look at maybe making this in some kind of a shrine or you know, temple stone, something that we would find in our game. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna make this a little bit thinner. I'm gonna select that top face and I'm gonna hit shift and drag up, which allows me to extrude another segment. Now I'm gonna change over to my scale tool, which is the R key, and I'm gonna scale down the top of this. And then I'm gonna hit my E key, which allows me to do some rotation. So I'm gonna rotate that just a little bit and then I'm gonna go back to my scale tool and then I wanna kind of have this be scaled down in the Z value. So we have something that's like this. So it kind of looks like a, you know, some kind of a temple shrine or whatever that might be. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this edge and go ahead and move that down just a little bit just to give us a little more of a varied kind of a shape to this. And then I wanna select these front faces and what I want to do is to go ahead and extrude these. So I'm gonna do that with the scale tool, but I'm also going to hold, hold down the shift key, which allows us to extrude a secondary segment of these two faces. So I'm gonna go hold down the shift key, and you can see that now that's given me another two faces. Now, if I turn this to the side, you'll see that it hasn't really moved it much. So I'm gonna go ahead and select those two faces and just kind of move them out. So we give this a little bit more dimension. And I think that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna take some of these vertices and move them back, the outer vertices, just to give us a little more dimension for this game object. So I'm holding down the shift key and then we can move this back a little bit. And I think that looks pretty good. So let's move these bottom two down just a little bit more too. Yeah, that works pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. One is we want to add a material to this that we're gonna then use as in Photoshop to, so that we can create our own artwork for this slab, whatever this is gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new material and we'll call this uh, we'll call this stone slab and then we're going to make sure this is a, a URP lit game object and then I'm going to apply that to this game object so my stone slab go ahead and drag that on there and I'm not going to worry about the way it looks for the moment okay so let's go back into our pro builder and open up our UV editor so here what we want to do, let's move this to the side slightly. Here's where we want to see what's happening with the UV editor, and it's going to allow us to unwrap this game object. Okay, so I'm gonna have to select the faces that are there. And you can see here are representations of all of the outlines for each of the individual faces. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these, and I'm gonna convert to manual. Okay, so what that allows me to do is take all of these individual faces and then I'm gonna be able to combine them and then essentially unwrap this particular game object. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select these two front faces right here. And let's go ahead and select everything that's on that kind of more front facing uh, side of the, the kind of stone slab. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these planar. Okay, so what it's gonna do is connect all of these individual faces together as one plane. So I'm gonna go ahead and click planar. Boom, you can see that now that's one individual kind of little segment. And they're all individual still, but they're all connected. The next thing I can do is you get a representation of where that material is. And I wanna go ahead and scale this down to fit my material. So let's go ahead and fit UV. And now you can see it fits within that kind of square area. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with the rest of these real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and select those two faces, make those planar, and then fit UV. 
let's go ahead and just move those over slightly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Um, make those planar and then fit UV. So that scales those down as well. And kind of move that over there a little bit. And let's move this out of the way real quick. And then I'll do this backside as well. Select those two faces and the top. And we'll go ahead and make those planar. And then we'll scale those down as well. Fit UV. And then I've got the bottom, which is the extra side. And I really don't need that, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete it because we're not going to see the bottom of this thing. Cool. So now that I have those, I can go ahead and take them, and you can see how they fit within the UV space. And this is a representation. This square is a representation of what size our material is and where that where our game objects fit within that. So if we want to create some artwork specifically for this, this gives us a way of doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select these and I'm gonna scale them down. So let's go ahead and use our scale tool, scale that down, because I wanna get everything to fit on there individually. And we'll select one of these. And then I can also select island, okay? So every all of the faces that are kind of connected it allows me to select all of those together. So that's an island. So let's go ahead and move that down here. And then let's select this next one, select island. Go ahead and move that here. Select the next one. And I might have to kind of rotate these or play with these just a little bit, but we'll go ahead and again, select island. Move this over. And I'm not gonna have enough room for that last one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select island. And then we're gonna rotate these particular faces so that we have a better fit for our, our UV. Cool. So now that we have that, here's one of the great advantages of our UV editor. I can now output the lines of this so that I can then bring those back into Photoshop or whatever kind of artwork creation software you want to use so that I can then use that and create that create artwork for this game object. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the camera icon. And what that's gonna do is allow me to export the lines that are here. So I can then bring that as a PNG into my software of choice, whether it's Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever kind of software you wanna to use to create the artwork for this, this particular game object, okay? So for uh, some options that are here, we can choose different sizes. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it with 1024. We can choose to whether to hide the grid or bring the grid back in. We can choose what the line color is. If we wanna include a texture, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And then I'm also going to have a transparent background. So that way it's just the lines themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a UV template. And I'm gonna save this into my sprites folder. And we'll call this slab.png. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and bring that into Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. It does have a transparent background and all my lines are there. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open up a new layer here real quick. And I want the stone slab to be kind of blue a little bit, maybe a little bit on the darker side. We'll kind of play with this as we go, maybe a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this. So we're just going to hit Shift F5 bring up our fill tool and go ahead and fill that. Go. So now we have, we have a color that fills this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and just paint some lines on here so we can add a little bit of flavor to this stone slab. So where all of the joints are, I'm gonna go ahead and just make this a little bit darker.
Okay, so I did this with my mouse and it's not the greatest, but it gives us something to work from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the green lines. So I now have the kind of base UV map. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and then flatten this back out. And then I'm gonna save it. And this is over in the Unity. So let's go ahead and go back into Unity. It's gonna bring that back in. And let's go ahead and create a material with this particular artwork. So we have that material as our stone slab. So all we really need to do is just bring that particular artwork into our material. So we're gonna go into sprites and I have this as a slab. So let's go ahead and bring that into our base map. And then all of a sudden, now we have the material attached to our game object. We can see what that looks like. And then we, of course we can change the properties if we want to. So if we wanna make it more shiny, we can go ahead and bring that up, the smoothness up and see what that looks like. So it looks, makes it look a little more glassy. We can add also a normal map and a height map, but this gives us a way for us to start seeing what the UV is for us. So let's go back to Pro Builder, and then I'm gonna click my UV editor again. And if I select my game object, you can now see where those faces are in relation to the UV. And with that, you can see now that I can uh, rotate, I can do all kinds of different stuff with these particular shapes uh, directly in the UV, okay? Not that I necessarily wanna do that, but you can see now how you can potentially unwrap your UV directly in Unity using ProBuilder. Hey, I know this was a little bit bigger tutorial, but I hope that you got a lot out of it. And again, please share these tutorials. And if you don't mind, hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace.